Hey, it's Mr. Estrada here, and this is our second video in our Locust series. So if you haven't watched Locust 1, you should stop this video, go back and watch Locust 1 before watching this one. In this video, I'm going to cover how we can sketch the locus of points a fixed distance from a line. So let's begin with a scenario. Suppose a basketball coach asks his whole team to stand exactly three feet from the baseline. Sketch all the possible points where the players can stand. So we're given a baseline and we are told that the distance from the baseline up to this point here is six feet and the baseline up to this point is six feet. And our task is to sketch all the possible points where the players could stand. Now they have to be three feet away from the baseline. So going by that locus condition, I could say that a player could stand right over here. That's the halfway point between the baseline and the six feet here. So uh, what, I, what I'm going to say is that from here, from here to here is three feet. So if a player could potentially stand here, he'll, he'll fulfill that condition of being exactly three feet away from the baseline. A player can also stand right over here, right? On the other side of the baseline, you'll also be three feet away. So that's also three feet. But is that it? I mean, what about if, if I were to just draw, let's say, a line from here to here? and that measures three feet. Couldn't a player also stand right over here? Right? I mean, you're three feet away from the baseline, right? Why, why can't he stand there? Well, the answer is yes, he can stand there. Well, what about on the other side? He could stand here, right? And he'll be three feet away from the baseline as well. What about if I, you know, make another line here and measure it, that's going to be three feet. Can't the player also stand here? The answer is yes, he can. What about on the other side? Three feet away. The answer is yes, he can. And I think by now, you're starting to get that if I want to sketch all the possible points for where the player could stand, I could just sketch a line like this and as long as this line is three feet away from the baseline, the player could stand anywhere on this line that I just drew. Let me go ahead and make that line the same color as the other points. And I can also do the same on the other side. So the players could stand anywhere on these blue lines and they will be three feet away from the baseline. Now for the sake of simplicity, let's assume that this baseline goes on forever and you know can't stand here and here, only on top of it or below it. So there's our sketch. There it is. So we, we could so what I'm gonna write is I'm gonna say, the players or the team, the players can stand anywhere on the blue line and they'll, they'll be three feet from the baseline. So that's the answer. It's the response, right? It says uh, sketch all the possible points. They got to be three feet away. Anywhere on those blue lines, you'll be three feet away. So anywhere on the blue lines, blue dotted lines is what that should say. Okay, that brings us to our locus theorem two, which is a uh, fixed distance from a line. Oopsie, 1A, not 2. 
So the locus theorem 2 says the locus of points at a fixed distance D from a line is a pair of parallel lines D from L on either side of L, L being the given line. So if, you know, that's what we just saw here, right? If you're given a line and you are asked to sketch the locus of points from a line, the result will be two parallel lines on one on either side of the given line. So that's what the theorem says. If you're given a line um, and you, you're going to sketch it, if you want, if you want to sketch the locus, you'll get parallel lines on either side of the given line. Okay, let's try another example. Example two: sketch the locus of points two units from the line x equals three. And then it says, give the equations that represent the loci. So if we look at the line that we are given, so that so x equals 3 is the given line. That's not the locus. x equals 3 is not the locus. x, x equals 3 is the given line. So I'm going to sketch the line x equals 3. So that's the line x equals 3. Hopefully you remember, right, that the lines, um, when x equals a constant, they will be vertical. So there's the line x equals 3. Now, it says sketch the locus of points two units from the line x equals 3. So that's going to go back to locus theorem 2, right? Fixed distance from a line. The result is going to be parallel lines on either side of the line x equals 3. So let's go ahead and do that. How far should the lines be? Well, they should be two units from the line x equals 3. So I'm going to get a line here. And I'm going to get another line here. Now, these dotted lines satisfy that condition, the condition being two units from the line x equals 3. Anywhere on these dotted lines, you will be two units from the line x equals 3. So the next part says give the equations that represent the loci. Loci is the plural for locus. So uh, the loci equations are going to be x equals 1 and x equals 5. Okay, now I want to point out some things, okay? Uh, the given lines that are not loci, you want to keep those solid and then your loci, just make it dotted. That's, and that's just something you want to get in a habit of because it will make things simpler later on. All right, so I hope this video helps. Take care.